Previously on Time Storm. Twins, 12 years old. Kids, the mission isn't a game. You're right. And it's a mission that you can't meet alone, Lieutenant Mendez. You need help. Besides, these aren't just any children. They are young. I want to finish reading this comic book. Take back time. American soldier Lieutenant Horacio Mendez is fighting a war on a foreign shore when he's pulled through an interdimensional portal into a time storm. I don't do interdimensional portals. We're in agreement then. Yes, I'm summoning Alexa and Benito Ventura into the time storm. Time storm, time storm. I can't believe you're here! Oh, twins. Benito and Alexa Ventura, tremendous! You can travel in time and whenever, wherever you arrive on Earth, you'll exist alive as can be. You can help me. No, we can't. It's gaining strength. It might become a hurricane tonight. Irma a week and a half ago, and now this storm? It's Minerva, right? Maria. If the time storm actually existed, I'd go with you. Really? But it's not real. Time travel is impossible. Witness. Find. Remember. The hidden past seeks its dawn. Showing us that we all belong Horacio, Alexa, and Benny Take back time, find history in the time storm Witness, find, remember September 18th, 2017, Rafael Hernandez School, Newark, New Jersey. But what Washington couldn't anticipate was that the winter of 1780 would turn out to be the harshest of the Revolutionary War. Despite this, the general kept the encampment in Jockey Hollow until... Yes, Sonia. June! That's what the British were all? We can take this Continental Army. But Washington's troops were like, nope, you can't have New Jersey. <laughs> That's one way to put it, Sonia. Okay, the link to tonight's homework and review questions can be found on the digital homework portal. Portal. That's portal. 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 Why? I can't remember the last time you made it through an entire social studies class without raising your hand. Uh, just, uh, thinking about that report due Thursday. Ugh, I haven't even started. I finished mine. Just have to proofread. Have you ever not finished something early, Sonia? And stress myself out? No, thank you. I think my best ideas come to me last minute. <laughs> Too risky. Well, I've got to run to my guitar lesson. Then vocal coaching. I'm getting ready for the musician showcase this Friday. Oh, I'm debuting my latest original song. I think. But I kind of want to rewrite the last verse before then. If I have time. Ugh. Maybe I'll just sing a cover. Yeah, you don't want to stress yourself out. I know, right? Sonia, when do you sleep? <sighs> Maybe she snagged Hermione's time turner. No, that's impossible. I was joking. No, I, I didn't mean... Sorry, I, I was just... Never mind. I'll walk with you, Sonia. See you at home, Benny. Later, Janelli. Peace, my lovelies. <laughs> Bye. 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 What was that about? Just my sister being weird as usual. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, Jaden. 
Did you just hear some loser call his sister weird? <laughs> yeah, totally heard no it. No one was talking to you guys. Who would you say is the weirdo in that family? <laughs> That'd be Ben Jeremiah. My name is Benito. <laughs> Weirdito? Weirdito. <laughs> hey, Weirdito, do you like boss around your sister? <laughs> hey, Alexa, open the lamest video game ever. <laughs> hey, Alexa. <laughs> Search for a comic book big enough to hide my sorry face. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, Jaden. We don't even have smart speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Weird <Weirdito>. detail. <laughs> <laughs> don't they have better things to do than listen to our conversations? Yeah, for real. Thirty minutes later, Gaino Comics and Games. <laughs> And he seriously said that he didn't even read the Ultimate Comics Spider-Man series because Miles Morales doesn't look like Spider-Man. He's got the bodysuit. I don't think he means the bodysuit. Hey, Benny! Janelli, how's it going? Hey, Dr. Fine. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, look, it's weird detail. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. First time in the store? Uh, yeah. I'm Datu. What's your name? Uh... Thad. Thad. Please refrain from calling my customers names. Yeah, he's the manager. Uh, okay. So, what can I help you with? Uh, I'm looking for a Star Wars mask. For my little brother. He wants to be Kylo Ren for, like, Halloween. Your brother wants a Kylo Ren mask, Thad? Uh, yeah. There's, like, this one that changes your voice. Hmm. Oh, is this what your brother's looking for? Cool. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. Whatever. Wow, th this one's pricey. It's $80 a pop. Uh, guess I should ask my parents if they want to buy it for him. So I can set it aside until Friday for you? That'd be good. Uh, thanks. For his brother? Yeah, right. Thanks for sticking up for me, Datu. Look, you guys are always safe here. Hey, we've got some new games in the back. Mm -hmm. Let's go check them out! Alexa? What are you doing here? What? I used to come here. Every once in a while. But not to read comics. Nice! I love Take Back Time. Doesn't Benny have a copy at home? Can I have it back? Here you go. I'll be by the games. Why are you reading this? I thought it helped me understand my dream from the other night. D do you know what this last page means? She will change everything. Who is she supposed to be? People have lots of theories, but the creator of TBT has never confirmed any. Creator? Oh, written and created by L.J. Ortega. She's super mysterious. No one knows what she looks like. Hmm. Plus, Take Back Time is the only thing she's ever published. And then she vanished. Like a phantom. Really? A phantom, Benny? A specter? <laughs> you think Datu would know what the last page means? Nah. We've talked about it before. He doesn't know either. Hmm. How about uh, maybe the owner of the store would know? I don't think I've ever seen the owner. Datu's pretty much in charge. I guess we'll have to figure it out on our own. Hey, you can borrow my copy of TBT anytime. I kind of want my own. You know, for research. <gasps> Benny, they've got microbia! Microbia? Role-playing microbes. Gross. Not if you're Master Acidophilus. Still gross. Alexa! Hi, Datu. It's been a few months since I've seen you. Well, what happened to knitting in the reading room upstairs? Oh, you know, homework and stuff. Of course. Hey, what you got there? Ooh, take back time. I guess it's a family favorite. What do you mean family? <laughs> I mean your brother. Oh, Benny! <laughs> of course. In fact, I've got an unpublished sketch by the creator of Take Back Time in storage. Benny might be interested in it. A beautiful rendering of, um, I don't know, I think it's a compass? Barometer? That's it. We'll take it. So... 
You're interested too. Benny said that Take Back Time is the only thing the creator ever published. Yep, TBT, and that's it. Then I definitely want to see this sketch. Okay, I'll pull it out of storage, and then how about I give your mother a buzz when it's ready?、Oh, that would be so amazing. You have no idea what that means to us. Well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear of your newfound interest in comic books. Thanks, Datu. Time and amoeba is on the board. The game is in sudden death mode. Ooh, sounds scary. Microbiology is intense. Hey, Benny, make sure you ask Datu about a sketch he has in storage. It's of a barometer. Really? You like barometers? Oh, it's a family thing. So amoebas, <laughs> bad guys, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Please leave your message. Hey, it's Datu. I just wanted to let you know that I'm pulling the L.J. Ortega sketch out of storage. You were right. I knew exactly when to bring it up. Seems like both Ventura twins are fans of L.J. Ortega now. <clears throat> hey, Ma. Si, mi amor. Are we related to anyone who fought in Vietnam? Mi tío Fermín. He was a combat medic.、Hmm. What about on Pa's side of the family? I think a few of his older cousins are Vietnam vets. Cousins? Here, let me check our heredity account. Here we go, our family tree. Let's see, military service. There's my tío Fermín, and on your father's side of the family, Sergeant Miguel Arroyo, Corporal Ricardo Perez. Lieutenant Horacio Mendez. Horacio Mendez.、Uh, did you or Pa know him? I mean, any of them? Not that I remember. They're all distant cousins. Hmm. What's this star next to Horacio Mendez? What a shame. Missing in action. A helicopter pilot. Uh, uh, <sighs> I I can't believe it. I know. So young. Only twenty-one. Alert update from the forecast station on demand.、Oh, I've been waiting for this. I set up the computer for automatic weather updates. The latest from the Caribbean. Maria is now a Category Five hurricane. I know it's gaining With strength like it's on steroids. With the eye passing right over Dominica, we expect this system to add to Irma's recent destruction on those islands. Our fellow citizens in the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico are in the direct path of this major hurricane. That storm looks like a monster. monster. Think of what's happened in Puerto Rico. How this hurricane changed everything. Hurricane Irma? It's not Irma. You're right. I think Hurricane Maria is going to be worse. What are you doing with Benny's comic book? Hmm? It's mine. I bought it with my allowance. I thought you hated comics. This one's not so bad. Rami, what's the airline saying about the storm? She will change everything. It's Maria. Hurricane Maria will change everything. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear you're flying to Africa. Got the spectacle. Ooh, Janelle, watch your back.、Ah, Benny. I could blast through the enchanted door if I could just. No, I'm gonna fall. Oh man. Wanna try again? I think I know what the last page of Take Back Time means. I've got to sign off, Janelle. Be back in ten. You know what now? She will change everything. She is Maria. Maria who? The hurricane. <laughs> Do you know how many people on the comic book orbit message board have argued about the meaning of the final page? <sighs> you read Take Back Time once, and you think you figured it all out. Maria's headed straight for Puerto Rico, Category Five. Ma's freaking out. Mami, por favor, ve al refugio. Put Pa on the phone. I'll convince him to take you to the shelter. You can replace the house. I can't replace you. Okay, Ma's freaking. Doesn't mean you're right about the last page. Think about how strange Horacio got talking about Hurricane Irma. Wait a minute. Are you finally admitting that meeting him wasn't a dream? Ma went on that genealogy website, and Horacio's listed on our family tree. He was telling the truth. He's our distant cousin. Does this mean you want to go back to the time storm and help him? I, I, I don't know. It's not like we can do anything about. <sighs> Never mind. The hurricane. You think we could actually do something about it? No. 
Nothing can stop a hurricane. It was a silly idea. Oh, I wish I could just do a report on Jackie Hollow and forget I ever met Horacio Mendez. Forget your family? We've never really met him. Or at least not on Earth. Because he died fighting for our country before we were even born. Horacio's history too. Only no one's writing a report on him. Then you write a report on him. We can do more with Horacio. You admit he's real. Let's go help him. I don't think we're the ones to do it. We're not superheroes, Benny. Then why'd you practically knock down my door to tell me about the meaning of the last page and how Ma found Horacio in the family tree? Something's changed for you, hasn't it? <sighs> Alexa? I, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope she isn't Hurricane Maria. September 20th, 2017. Miss Thompson, period eight, American history. Why didn't I start this sooner? Alert update from the forecast station on demand. Is, Is that? that? Yep. Hurricane Maria Another hurricane update. the west coast of Puerto Rico this evening. The energy grid has failed across the main island, and the storm has destroyed most avenues of communication, both in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. It is now clear that tomorrow morning, hundreds of this thousands of people will awaken to a home they don't recognize. Hi. Hi hey. Bob. Hey, everyone. Hi, Rami. I wish you were here. I'm on a couple of West Coast flights before I head back on Friday. It can't come soon enough. You get in touch with any family? No. You? Same here. Bah! You see that video where the road looks like a river? I saw it, Benny. It's like everything's been washed away, disappeared overnight. Clara? You look exhausted. I stayed up all night, checking all those Facebook groups, hoping to see names I recognized. I've been doing a lot of that, too. I feel so useless. I wish we could reach them, help them. We will, Clara, in time. Can't we fly down there? You should have special clearance, right? Clara. I just want to know they're okay. I want to see for myself what's happened. The kids have school, we've got work, and we should go down when we're able to help in some way. What's up with you two? What's that look about? Nothing. Twin thing. We'll never understand these twin things, Rami. Of course not. Love you. Mwah. Love you. Safe home. Alert update from the forecast station on demand. Another alert? We're back. So soon? With a local advisory. The New York City metro area is under an extreme weather watch. Many of the counties affected by last night's storm should expect more rain, lightning, and localized flooding. This system should reach northern New Jersey in about an hour. Weather will guide you. I'll get the flashlights, just in case. While I do that, why don't you two set the table? Dinner's almost ready. Benny! Yeah? Horacio says we can't change the past, but... Maybe there's a loophole! Exactly! You're finally ready? Where's the barometer? In my room. Good. According to the report, we've got an hour before the storm comes. Wait a minute. We should eat dinner first. Good idea. Fuel up, then we'll meet in your room. One hour later. <gasps> there it is! The sound of Tempest! It's glowing purple! It's time. Ready? I'm so ready! Benny? Have you seen your sister? Welcome back. This episode of Time Storm was written by Danya Ramos. Audio engineering, sound design, and theme song were by Michael Aquino. The role of Alexa Ventura was played by Leilani Figueroa. Benny Ventura was played by Claudio Venancio. Horacio Mendez was played by Orlando Segarra. Ramiro Ventura was played by Walter Rodriguez. Clara Ventura was played by Jenica Carmona. Janelli was played by Frances Ramos. Sonia was played by Jessica Bracken. Datu Encheta was played by Joel Arandia. Thad was played by Philippe Abiunas. This episode also featured Christine Mariani, Alexi Perez, and Emily Smith. Timestorm is produced by Gokotaso Media 
with support from PRX and the Google Podcasts Creator Program. If you enjoy the show, please tell two friends about it. And then ask your parents to subscribe to Timestorm on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or the Kids Listen app. Transcripts and resources are available at timestormseries.com. Now it's time for our listener share out. Hi, my name is Liliana, and I am 10 years old. I would like to tell you about a time where I helped out in my community. It was around Christmas time when you would usually write a letter to Santa Claus. When writing my letter, I thought about how many toys and stuff I had. I didn't really want much. I was happy with what I had. It got me thinking about the kids who didn't have much. Eventually, I decided to ask Santa Claus to bring me many different things, of which I decided to donate to homeless kids or kids' families who don't have enough money to buy these things on their own. A few days before Christmas, Santa Claus gave me these things I asked for. It felt really good to be helping out in my community. What can you do for your community? Wow, thank you for being so kind and generous, Liliana. Hey, listeners, we want to hear from you. We're seeking voice recordings of up to one minute in the following categories. Adventure, culture, community, and time travel. To learn more about how to submit your own share out, please visit timestormseries.com. As always, Thanks for listening.